What's going on, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar. And Astonishing Melanie. And today we are doing an overview of Jeff Lemire's Maze Book, so please stay tuned. And welcome back. Thank you to Dark Horse for sending us this review copy. So what we're looking at here is a hardcover. Now, what did it say that it was a standard size hardcover, but I noticed that it's just a little bit bigger than... Just a touch, just a tad. Just it's... a touch and a tad bigger. And then a trade paperback and... And just a tad bigger than a Masterworks. Yeah, so it's bigger than your standard size. It's, it's a little taller yeah. than a Masterworks. It's not. Um, it's a little skinnier than a Masterworks. Yeah, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the size of it. Uh, it does not have a dust jacket, so it's just art on the board. Uh, there is a limited edition Kickstarter that went, I think it was only limited to 150 or so, uh, that had a different cover. And here's the spine, Jeff Lemire, Dark Horse logo. And as you can see, this red thread that's starting here with the girl's sweater is making an appearance on the spine, because that's an important part of the story and wraps around here. And then the back of the book, the book retailing for $29.99. Here's all the praise it's getting from creators like Matt Kent and James Tinian. And from New York Times bestselling and Eisner Award winning Black Hammer creator Jeff Lemire. Uh, so we're going to crack this open, look at the artwork and talk a little bit about the story without going into spoilers. Okay, so let's get this open. We have some red end paper there. Um, it's another page here. It's again, what Melanie pointed out, the string, which is really important to the story. Written and drawn by Jeff Lemire. Letters by Steve Wands. Cover and chapter breaks by Jeff Lemire. And then Macebook created by Jeff Lemire. I love that it spells out Macebook from Dark Horse Comics. So here we have... Oh, the design's done by Tom Mueller. He's the gentleman that's been working on the uh, Dawn of X, Reign of X hardcovers and trade paperbacks, the design oh, of those okay. books. But here's issue number one. This collects all five issues of this series, kicking it off with chapter one. And here we meet this building inspector named Will Warren. He's kind of a lonely man, a man in his 50s. And you learn that 11 years ago, he lost something very precious to him. And that was his daughter, Wendy. Now he's starting to forget details about her. He remembers the sweater, the one she, of a uh, sweater of his that she loved to wear. Mm -hmm. And he is um, so sad that he cannot remember her face. Yeah. So he keeps mentioning this lady named Elena, how she did not want their daughter to wear the sweater. So you get to find out that he was married to uh, this lady named Elena. And that is no longer the case. He is now... He's going through the motions of his life as a building inspector, mm -hmm. um, just kind of uh, given up on finding, you know, satisfaction and meaning in life. And definitely with the, the colors used here at the beginning, you, you get that um, feeling, that type of atmosphere. With the red line, I just noticed the red line here, though, there's a little bit of blue, something else than these drab colors. That is... I mean, that is an artistic take, right? Where the present day is done in these muted, dark colors, almost like black and white with just a little hint of... And in that previous splash page, it just shows how lonely he is. He In that page, he was um, turning down an invitation to go out with uh, co-workers. Um, but the closer he gets to this store, this memory, it kind of becomes these vibrant colors, which has been done artistically in like movies like uh, Raging Bull, where the present is black and white and the past is in color because the past is what what's happy. And I thought that was a really nice touch by Jeff Lemire. So you know, it, it's a horrible circumstance that he lost his daughter, he's alone, and uh, he does get like to meet some people in his life. They keep coming into his life. Well, like... here is Lisa, who um, they live in the same building. And actually, this page is practically... Um, not not redone. It's repeated yes. elsewhere where she's trying to make a connection with him. Um, but, you know, he, he's trapped in his own mind. And that's really what this is about. It's about learning to deal with loss and dealing with 
how you go about your daily life and what gives you that push to continue. So there is a little bit of a twist. We're not going to spoil what happens or, you know, the, the big story in here. But the twist is that at the end of chapter one, he keeps getting, well, throughout the first issue, he keeps getting this phone call at about 3.12 a.m., I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. And at the end of chapter one, he answers the phone and it's revealed that Wendy is calling him. And all she's saying is, I'm at the center. So the one thing we didn't say about Wendy, and that's his daughter that has passed away 10 years prior to the story starting, is that Wendy was obsessed with puzzles and maces. That she's really good at them. Um, she just, it was like a Zen thing. Like, she would try to explain to her father how she didn't think about it. She just did it. And um, she wouldn't ever look ahead, he said. She would just choose the correct way to go. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, we won't go too much into it, but just that she was in the hospital, he was getting the puzzle books, that um, this is, you know, before she passed away. And you can put two and two together, that she you know, she had cancer, some kind of illness. It's not what's important. The important part is that she did die, and now she's reaching out from somewhere to him, and he's alone, and he's trying to figure out where she is. So that's kind of what this is. It's like a mystery and trying to solve that last puzzle. At least that's the way he sees it in his head. Um, and of course, that being symbolic of something, the lines of reality kind of blur between what he does throughout the book to go through a maze, um, he, who he meets up with, the uh, his neighbor's lost dog. Vern. And yeah. um, so you're like, maybe this happened, maybe this isn't. It never answers, right? So that's pretty cool. So it's not only a book about loss, but it's also a hopeful book. It gives you hope for the future, you know, for anybody that has gone through something this horrible. Um, and just want to mention the art, Jeff Lemire's art style, um, definitely lends itself to the story. I suppose, obviously, he wrote the story as well. But what I'm saying is, with all his sketchiness, it looks like the thread that he was trying to follow from the sweater. It, like, even with his eye, um, it's zooming in. He's making it look like the, pu uh, yeah, the puzzle that it seems like you're not quite sure where lines start and where lines end. And that's how he's feeling his life right now. That's it's a, just a jumble of lines. I never thought about that because I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Jeff Lemire's artwork, but for some reason in this particular story it worked, and I think you you said it. It's all about where does the line begin and where does it end, and it, that's kind of like his art style um, in in every book that he's done. You asked me earlier when when you finished reading this if if this is the way that his artwork always looks or is it a little more sketchy right, or I haven't squiggly. Read, I haven't read Sweet Tooth or Black Hammer. And honestly, I want to say that it it is, but I, I don't know. It, it's a little bit different. I think a lot of it has to do with the color tones that he's using, the monotone colors uh, for the shading. So my wonderful wife had to prove a point that it is different and of course you know this is a little this bit is sweet older. tooth by the way yeah uh, this is sweet tooth <laughs> but the lines are definitely clear uh somebody else who did the colors uh jose villarubia i think is the a colorist on this yeah so but even his line work is different in this than it is in mace book so maybe it's purposefully done with more squiggles and more undefined lines if you will so every year I do my top 10 favorite graphic novels that I've read. Um, without spoiling it, I think this is definitely going to... Th this one got me. By the end, I was yeah, crying. Yeah, because you said uh, you need to read this. Yeah, I told you. I was like, it won't take long. It is a quick read. Oh, yeah, definitely a quick read. Um, you can just sit down, one setting, read it. Oh, absolutely. Cover to cover. I just couldn't put it down. And then there's one particular line in this that got me, and I was just broken. Um now, it could be because, you know, I have daughters, and the, the connection, the strong bond that he has with Wendy, I mean, it's there, and oh, man, this one got me. I thought it was beautifully done. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely one of my favorite reads this this year. What, what did you think about it? We never really talked about it, without going into spoilers, you know. What did you think about it as a, as a read? No, I liked it. Um, you know, I don't do ratings. I do recommend it. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. You don't do ratings. I get it. Um, let's look at the extras because there are some extras in the back. 
The variant covers are all the way in the back. The book has 256 pages. And the variant covers are done by different artists. A lot of them that um, Jeff Lemire has worked with. I like that one. That one's my favorite. The Matt Kent. Matt Kent is a very similar style. I wonder how many people went out and got that tattoo. Oh, look. And it squiggles on her face. That wasn't in the comic itself, but that makes sense if he had used the squiggles on her face instead of the blank peach color. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, and we didn't show that each cover, the person, the character changes, and then the other characters that were previously shown are inside the maze that's on their like front. Yeah, I don't know. Does that it. make sense? The cover of each chapter is the same format of a character with another character um, being in the middle. With the first one, it was uh, Will Will with his daughter, Wendy. Now, for this one, it looks like it's Wendy. Yeah, there's Will with uh, Wendy. Yeah, this looks like it's Wendy with Wendy in yeah. the hospital. So it didn't quite follow that format. Oh, in, in a maze. But here, look, there's the dog, Vern with Will and Wendy. So it, it follows basically that format. Yeah. Hey, good eye. I really didn't notice that. I, I noticed the first cover because I think I was just too busy just reading it and wanting to finish it. Uh, now, as far as the book, the paper quality is this thick, glossy paper. It's sewn binding and there's the eye. It's a pretty good eye. So the book does lay over really nice towards the front of the book or whether you're looking at the extras in the back but that as they say is that if you're interested in purchasing this book please check out our sponsor cheapgraphicnovels.com your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50 percent off cover price they have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service check out their bargain deals for up to 90 percent off cover price and don't forget that cgn also takes pre-orders that way you don't miss out on the hottest releases and they are currently running a special promotion for you minties if you're a first time customer after receiving your order confirmation email reply back to that email and let them know near mint condition sent you their way they will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the u.s cheap graphic novels your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more and that was the content page count and build of this hardcover let us know in the comments down below if you've read it if you're planning on picking it up what other jeff lemire books you, you may like and if you were one of the people that were like oh i love jeff lemire i have to get the kickstarter copy i'd like to know who ended up with it i know my buddy mitch ended up with a copy of it and I think the book is absolutely beautiful so leave your comments questions down below everyone stay healthy and safe out there and stay minty